As the epidemic of gun violence continues to languish across America, the CEOs of major gun manufacturers facing tough questions about how they market their weapons that have been used in deadly massacres. How many more American children need to die before your company will stop selling assault weapons to civilians? Lawmakers wasting no time in their search for answers. Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney opening the hearing, calling out Smith & Wesson, whose high-powered rifles were used in the Highland Park and Parkland, Florida shootings. Today I'm announcing my intent to issue a subpoena for documents from Smith & Wesson's CEO and other top executives so that we can finally get answers. The committee hosting this hearing is the same group that held last month's hearing on gun violence, featuring gripping testimony from survivors. Today, more families sharing how the recent mass shootings have shattered their lives. My fiance was shot and killed on May 14th by a white supremacist mass Daddy. shooter when he went into Taps to buy our son a birthday cake. What are you going to do? It's okay to make sure that your products don't get into the hands of a white supremacist mass shooter ever again. Manufacturers responding, pointing the finger at those who pulled the trigger. These acts are committed by murderers. The murderers are responsible. Waving off the blame, the CEO of Ruger pointing to the shooting at Sutherland Springs. The evil person who perpetrated those crimes and committed those murders was allowed to buy a firearm that, frankly, he, sh he should not have been allowed to do. And committee Democrats also shared their report that found that major assault weapon makers have made over $1 billion in revenue over the past 10 years as these mass shootings have surged. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.